Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 8 Let's Play where guys, I saw this as an opportunity to do a little bit more trophy pushing. I realized that I've only got two builders available and my laboratory is still working. Uh, but I kind of thought, win some more raids, maybe get to Crystal League before we go to Town Hall 9. That is kind of the goal for today. I'm still using the Go Vape strategy, Golems, Valkyries, Pekkas, and uh, a whole bunch of wizards, which is not in the name. I, I realize that. Uh, but it's still a great strategy, and I'm enjoying it so much. It's actually it's easier to use than the Go Hobo, uh, but it's less likely to three-star, I've noticed. At least against other Town Hall 8s. If you're attacking a Town Hall 9, I was dropping a lot of one-stars with Go Hobo. But I'm getting a lot of really solid two-stars and sometimes three-stars with Go Vape. So I enjoy that strategy a lot, and I'm going to keep pushing with it. It's going to be awesome. So guys, let me find a base that's ideal, like usual, grabbing those uh, the town hall and looking for about a 30 trophy grab. Or 28. Town hall 8. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it, it rhymed, right? Uh, so let's attack a base with 28 trophies. And it's a town hall 8, which means I might 3-star it, which means... That would be way better, getting 28 trophies for a 3-star, than let's say 2-starring a Town Hall 9 worth 30, because then that would only give us 20. So, uh, sorry buddy, you are the target. And and I'm right over you. I'm right over the target. So, uh, right now, what, would I, what do I want to cover? I think I want to cover the Bomb Tower, honestly. I, I've, I find myself trusting those Bomb Towers a lot less than I used to. So, uh, get in there with those wizards, there we go, and drop some wall breakers. Once those external buildings go down, then you can lead in the troops with the cookie crumb trail. There we go, there we go, there we go. And let's actually get a few more wizards in there too. Perfect. Let's drop a heal for those Valkyries, and then they're going to begin going into the base. And then I'm going to actually uh, quake them out the other side. So this is actually looking really great. Uh, let's drop a raid spell into the core. And they're going to nuke the entire thing in no time. And then it's all about cleanup. So I'm going to kind of watch and see. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to come in through here, through the bottom. I'm hoping the enemy king will follow them. And then it's going to be all about throwing down wizards down here and starting the cleanup process. Yeah, so king on king action. We're going to kill him quickly. And then it looks like, yes, this golem is actually going to be distracting all these defenses out here too. So I'm hoping these Valkyries will come okay one valkyrie is coming this way that's fine the one valkyrie is going to do more damage than no valkyrie with the golem by itself golems don't do a lot of damage it's un it's unfortunate i mean when they die they explode they do quite a bit of damage there but they don't do a whole lot of damage otherwise so i'm looking forward to watching this valkyrie pick apart these defenses and look at this yeah this little golem he might die he might explode here shortly but then that cannon won't have enough time to destroy the Valkyrie. Check that out. Bam. Check it. Now, the only bad thing is that Golemite actually gets hit by that spring trap and gets sprung. That's really upsetting. A real Golem won't do that. So, that's pretty awesome. But it looks like, oh, this other side was handled by the Pekka, the King. And it is definitely going to be a three-star. Looks like all the corner buildings have been handled except for this one out here. That was an oversight on my part. I could have made this a tighter three-star. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. Um... There you go. So without loot bonus, guys, and actually, once again, I wasn't really looking for loot. Like, last episode, I wasn't really looking for loot. I was looking for that, whatever that was. A uh, bunch of trophies. 28 trophies. Not too shabby. Um, so, uh, actually, so let me mention this right now. Whenever I logged into my recording program, which is OBS Streamlabs, uh, everything was erased. I think an update came in and wiped me out. And so I had to remake everything. So things might look a little different. They might sound a little bit different. Let me know in the comments if you have any complaints or even comments if things seem better than they did before. Some things are different. Some things are the exact same. So let me know in the comments. Uh, I did forget to put use code Klaus at the bottom because we do want to be remembering to use code Klaus if we decide to buy something in the game. So don't forget that. There's a link in the description to input that code automatically. So while we wait for Clan Castle troops, because they are kind of essential for this strategy, uh, you do want that fourth earthquake spell, I'm going to bounce over to Builder Base for the very first time <laughs> in a long time. Uh, I have not been very dedicated to Builder Base. Let's just go do a raid. I'm not even going to look at loot. I don't think I have enough loot to do anything good anyway. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can get done. So first things first, began to pick up these external 
easy to target buildings and then start targeting the air targeting defenses. So there's going to be things like uh, that air bomb's got to go down, uh, get rid of all these army camps are definitely in the way right now. And I'm actually curious to see what happens with this baby dragon down here. Is it going to go for the firecracker or not? Uh, it is. Awesome. Oh, oh, nope. It's going to go for the cannon. That was kind of a psych. That was not cool. Um, uh, yeah, this one actually was... Wow. That one actually almost take, uh, took that down. That was awesome. So the air bomb definitely being the main problem right now. So let's actually send in another baby dragon on that. This is perfect because everything is spread out very nicely. Everything will go down here very, very quickly. This uh, crusher will be the last problem before the archer tower and then uh that will be the three star right there perfect gotta love it enjoy it every time okay so baby dragon you uh you know what to do right we're good all good yep three star perfect so whenever you get that three star guys you um always look for the time okay oh that guy's name was garadon that was cool look 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 his name it's not galadon with an l it's a it's garadon with an r <laughs> that's awesome uh so i got a three star in one minute and 59 seconds so i've already i've already won the raid even if they three star which is pretty sweet so how are we doing on time or like like loot rise um 2.6 million to upgrade the baby dragon which means i'm going to be accumulating elixir for a very long time so I might as well do a gold upgrade. I'm just going to do the cheapest one because I don't feel like wiping myself out with gold right now. And that should be it. Very good. Okay. And actually, I should have some free builder loot. Yeah, there's some builder gold that's for free. And I think I got some builder elixir. No. Okay. So I get some free builder gold. So in uh, a few minutes or whatever, whenever this boost is finished off this uh this mine upgrade i can like, do something pretty good actually like the double cannon upgrade or the roaster the multi-mortar the crusher i mean what doesn't really matter just something good is going to be upgraded increasing my defense i don't do that enough i don't focus on defense enough so that's pretty awesome so let's see do we have cc we do have cc that's perfect and if i spend four gems i'll have my king here's the, the trade secret though if you get a decent pekka in your clan castle you don't need your king I just have, I've not noticed a real big difference between having my king during these raids versus not having these kings ver in these raids. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not even going to waste four gems because I don't need to. I literally, um, and it watched me fail now because I've said this, but I've, I've had, I've, ha I've seen and witnessed no real reason to need the king unless it just so happens to be lucky, right? So here's a great, oh my goodness, 35 trophies? Okay, 35 trophies. Uh, guys, let's take this base on. I'm going to attack it from an angle. Uh, I'm thinking actually coming in from this angle because there's a bomb tower and a wizard tower kind of together, which would be super great to be able to clear them up. And although it's not that big of a deal against Valkyries, you know, I, I'm just like, I'm still stuck in that hog mentality here. Um, honestly, getting there and taking out the town hall fast is really the priority. Plus, if I drop a quad quake like right there, then I'll be able to open up into the rest of the base. Actually, if I drop it right in the middle, I might be able to open up the entire thing. Here, let's do this. Let's drop it on this far side. And I'm going to put the wizards on either side and wall breakers. I'm just going to drop three of them because I believe pretty strongly that I'll be able to get more wall breakers on the inside. Okay, so now... Uh, right there there's a good heal for that wizard tower and then if i quad quake like right out there then it's going to open me up it's going to give me a path out of the core this is looking really good all right rage through there perfect yes that's going to be definitely an easy two-star at least uh and everything is kind of clearing out in this direction so that's perfect because i wanted to start putting down some cleanup out here too so let's get our wizards down uh are there any corner buildings it looks like there is a couple of huts and I've got some more wizards, so let's place those down just like so. And, um, yeah, looks like, um, especially once this archer tower, or this air defense goes down, it's going to be easy to send in some minions as they're, you know, all the defenses over there are distracted on the golemites. So I think I've got this three star. So this is kind of proving my point there, that you don't really need the king with the strategy. I mean, it's obviously helpful. It'll speed the strategy up. It'll make it a little bit easier for you. But overall, it's not a necessity. It's not absolutely required, which is pretty sweet. So if you look at the health of our P.E.K.K.A., looks like the other, I, don't, I can't, I don't even know which one's stronger. I'm assuming the darker one is stronger, but uh, you can tell the health is still over halfway with one of them. 
and I've got Pekka, or I've got um, Wizards backing up the Pekka. So there was like no chance that I wasn't going to triple that base. That was awesome. I didn't get a lot of loot. Like I said, I don't care, but 35 trophies. You do that long enough and you're in Crystal League. Like, no problem. No effort. No struggle. Like, it's just awesome. I love it. Anyway, so let's get in, and I've already used up all that, so let's get in there and let's do a couple of upgrades now. Like I said, I don't really have, like, it, today really wasn't about the upgrades as much as it is about the trophy pushing and the winning of the raids and showing off still this amazing strategy. Now, notice, remember, we upgraded these spring traps the last episode, so they're level three now, but I cannot go to level four, which means they are, in fact, maxed out. So... These guys are going to come up to here, uh, and I don't know exactly where I want to put them. Uh, I guess I'll put them over here. There's six uh, spring traps, right? Yeah, there's four with the two over here. Yeah, so this little, like, two-by-three section here is perfect for the spring traps. So let's upgrade two more of these, which is going to be 500,000 gold. And that means I've got 2.8 million spare gold plus whatever's in the treasury. So you know what? Let's use this day, this day, this special day, to max out our walls, okay? Uh, unintended circumstances here. Not having five builders means extra gold, because I've got loads of gold. I've been raiding. I've been having fun with it. Um, 500,000, uh, I'm sorry, 500,000 gold. What, what is that? Oh, 500,000 gold per spring trap means I've got extra gold to dump into my walls. So let's do this right now in three, two, one, bam. And that wasn't it. We still got a little bit more, a lot of bit more, actually, uh, but it's only 1.65 million gold, which means I'm going to have spare gold left over, and there's going to come a point where I've got max gold elixir and dark elixir, and the limiter is builders. <laughs> this is a great time to be alive, I'm telling you what. All right, let's go. 1.65 million gold in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Okay. And then these two spring traps, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just move them right now. It's going to make it a little bit easier. I won't lose track of them. There we go. And let's max out both of these. Okay, so 500,000 gold, 3, 2, 1, bam, and bam. Nice. All right, so that means, guys, that we have officially maxed out the walls. And that means that next time we'll finish up with the traps, we'll have excess gold, and then it's really all about collector's minds and laboratory. Now, remember, the laboratory does actually have quite a bit of time left to go. We got the, the giant upgrade, which is two and a half days. We have the goblins, which is two and a half, so that's four and a half. We have the balloon, which is three days, which is seven and a half. We have the healers, which is another two and a half, which is nine and a half total days. And then this lightning spell, I think, is maxed at level five, so I'm not going to really worry about that. Although I do have a day, so ten and a half. And then earthquake spell, if it maxes at level two, is two more days, so that's twelve and a half. And then the minion upgrade goes for another day and a half, so that's 14 days. So I've got technically two weeks left in the laboratory before I'm done with Town Hall 8. Meanwhile, these collectors and mine upgrades are only 20 hours apiece. So I'm going to be finishing everything except for the lab, and I'll be sitting on no builders building, all things maxed out except for the lab for at least a week or two. Uh, and that's, that's not ideal, obviously, but it is what it is, and I'm not going to move to Town Hall 9 until I'm... <laughs> guaranteeing myself that everything else will be maxed out before I go there. Or at least, maybe, okay, here, check this out. Town Hall 8, not that. Uh, Town Hall 8 upgrade is to Town Hall 9, just a four-day upgrade. Plus, your laboratory gets upgrade and uh, upgraded, and that's another day. So you have a five-day buffer, right, where I can start the Town Hall upgrade, and I still have five days before I'm going to need to do a Town Hall 9 laboratory upgrade. So I, I get a bit of a buffer. So instead of having to wait 14 days to upgrade my Town Hall, I can wait... Nine days. That's not bad. I can handle that. Yeah, I can hang with that. If I look at the, the calendar, no issues there. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, guys, just giving you guys the full plan. What was that? Why is this? Oh, okay, yeah. I actually maxed out one of my gold mines. I forgot about that. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that's the full plan. That's what we got going on. I'm sure we have maybe three or four more episodes to go, especially as we continue to max out the laboratory. In fact, if I make an episode every time I do a lab, that's four five, six episodes left, and that's if I actually do it that way. We'll see. You never know. I guess you're going to have to subscribe, join the Klaus family, ring that bell, and use code Klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game to find out how it goes down. And if you're ex uh, excited about Town Hall 9, let me know down in the comments and liking the videos. That's the best way to let me know what's going on in your head. All right? 
Um, don't forget that the code does expire after seven days. So double check for that little white C in your shop. If it is there, you're good. If it is not, then input the link that is down below in the description or do it manually in your settings. And remember, it works for every single Supercell game, not just Clash of Clans. So if you guys play any of those, do consider using code Klaus. Guys, that's all from me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.